Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Some Cat. Uh, we're just going to dive in. I'm still recording this for the previous episode, so I haven't left yet. So, <laughs> the door closes behind me with a jingle. We're just trying I have a job. My workers are pretty cute. I get to play with pets. And if this works out, I should be able to afford a place of my own too. Avery. You can stop tailing me now, unless you were that bent on following me home. Uh, definitely not what I expected right away. The cat is talking. Why? Why do you look so surprised? You knew it was me, right? What? What? Come on, my cat self and human self look so similar, they're both equally gorgeous. How did you not put two and two together? Of course I didn't put two and two together. Who the hell's gonna think, oh, of course he's also a cat. And that's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. I can't believe I'm even having this conversation right now. I don't know why I expected you to know anything about witches. I mean, look at you. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't think you know much at all. Fine. Grace obviously did a trash job of explaining this, so all the work is up to me. Again. Everyone at, at Cat's Paw is under a curse. Once we leave the premises, we turn into cats. The curse is likely tied to the cafe itself, though I don't think anybody else knows how. This is probably the most absurd thing I've ever heard, but it's also sort of hard to deny because the cat is telling it to me. So, everybody? Graves too? Who knows? I've never seen him as a cat, but I haven't seen him do a lot of things. Does that mean... Am I going to be cursed too? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I would... How do I end up not cursed? 
If I knew that, I'd be a lot taller and less furry right now. How do you even get a cat curse? Didn't you hear me? Witches. Believe it or not, this area is full of them. I'd go with that or not, but I can't really come up with any more plausible reasons. This is absurd. I've just had a long day. My brain's leaking out of my ears, that's all. I might just be imagining this. Are you done then? I have things to do. What, like chase birds? Cute. Look. If it makes you feel better, we can talk about this more at work tomorrow. With everyone else. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Introduce me to all the talking cats. Just don't be late again. Hey, I wasn't late today. I get the feeling that if he had the shoulders for it, Reese would be sh shrugging right now. Instead, he rolls his head to the side. Reese stands back up. He takes a grand leap up a trash can, then up again to the fence. Whatever you say. Good night, Avery. With that, he's gone. Uh, good night. Very bizarre. But yeah. There's a very subtle music right now. I also have my headset turned down because uh, it's adjustable. Because this game is super loud. But I actually have to edit it and post because it's super low. The sun's barely gone down, but I'm capital letter done with today. This is too much. Don't forget the good food this time. The canned stuff. Uh, did someone just say something? There's nobody here but Mochi. Oh, for crap's sake. I find him standing next to the food bowl, looking up at me with those expectant eyes. I gently nudge him with my foot. Did you just say that? Mer. Nope. Nope, I'm done. I dump the rest of the canned food into the bowl and scurry out of the kitchen. Then I dump myself in bed. I don't even want to think about it right now. I'm just going to sleep in a real bed for once. Maybe sleeping on the couch so much is messy with my head. I don't usually close the door, but I think it's a good night, good idea tonight. I don't want Mochi whispering to me in my sleep. I wake up early enough I surprise myself. This is gross. Who does this? At least I slept fairly well, all considered. My cheek hurts, kind of like I'm getting one of those real powerful zits. Just when I have a job where I see people all day. What perfect timing. I kick my legs free of the big blankets and roll off the side of the bed with my usual grace. God, this thing feels gross. I don't have any acne stuff with me here, but maybe Aunt Wendy has something I can put on it. I trundle over to the vanity to assess the damage. Are we a cat? Oh, that's a whisker. Uh, that's not a zit. That is a whisker. There's a whisker growing out of my face. Thought 
of it is enough to make me pick up my pace. Running to work is going to be a theme for me. Maybe I'll keep me in shape. I just hope I can keep my human shape too. Oh my god. Fucking Finley is 
jelly donut. The cat. What does that have to do with anything? I think it's time to show you that this cat purse isn't all bad. She gives me a quick look and a punch on the shoulder. Go sit down at the table. I'll be out to show you in a sec. This is still so, so stupid. The frustration festers in the pit of my stomach and now I don't even have anywhere to put it. napkin in front of me. I can't, in front of him. I can't fucking read. Uh, do you have a loan? Do you hate people? Ah, uh, I want to ask him that. Surprise, you should see. 
see the look on your face right now. You're, you've really capitalized on this curse, huh? I just started making videos as a way to have fun with the situation. Who knew it would be... Who knew it would make me a celebrity? I'll give you my autograph later if you like. No, I'm fine. She gives me like a playful pat and then gives me... You're so starstruck. I am not. You so are. I bet you spend a lot of time on the internet. I bet you know all about me. about a cat. Oh, cut the shit off of you. Three saunters out of certain powder can. Yeah. Think I just finally aside with this but it's good compared to a distance from the table. is great. 
cute. I think you look cute in a jelly donut shirt, too. Are you trying to get me to join your fan club or something? I don't have one, but if you want to manage it. Bye for now.